Yes, I just am looking and absorbing and soaking up everything. The one thing I'm not soaking up, rain. Phew. Yes, <laughs> the water is gone. Yeah. Hanging out with Dan Barnes here. Beautiful, beautiful artwork. There's metal, there's glass, quite a, a variety of work that you do. I, and in this piece that we're standing next to now, you said this is really representative of sort of your signature, something that people know your style by. So tell right. me a little bit about this, it's fascinating. Well, it's a mixed media piece, patinaed copper, fused glass. One of the characteristics that I do that a lot of other artists don't do with glass is that the squiggledy pattern you're seeing in the background, that yeah. kind of leopard print, yeah. is trapped air. Oh. So I work to keep that because it adds visual depth and texture to the work. Oh, so it's... you'll see that in a lot of my work. Certainly does. These are my best selling pieces. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. So this is what somebody would know you as because you've been an artist for right. a long time. But then throughout the course of the pandemic, right. art fairs, went away and <laughs> you got a, you got creative as you are because that's right. who you are but you developed a new a, a new whole new look. line of work whole new line of work so yep. the it's piece so behind is, you is a sample this is one of those uh, it was i call it my covid relief work so i was looking for uplifting bright fun um and this is what was as a result and is this glass is it metal it Tell is me. each one of these pieces each one of these petals of glass was handmade fired twice in the kiln to get it to, to, to be rounded and shaped and then all applied to the to the Perfect. aluminum background Wow, really gorgeous. And, as and it's we, already been a success. I sold one yesterday. Oh, so. <laughs> well, I can imagine. As we look around the booth, you can see a combination of uh, so the, 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 the brighter uh, pandemic inspired right. and, the, uh, and, and the beautiful textured. I mean, it's all just really gorgeous. Thank you. And you also do, these pieces, of course, are all available for purchase. Anything you see here on the wall. You also do incredibly large uh, installations. And right. there was one, I know a lot of artists were really like, wondering what am I going to do during the pandemic and you got a call from a hospice center and we have a photo of the piece of work they commissioned. Right, I was so fortunate. Uh, right in the middle of COVID uh, I was uh, commissioned to do a piece for uh, Hospice of the Bluegrass which is Bluegrass Care Navigators. Uh, it's 24 feet long, Wow. 8 feet wide, 10 feet tall. Oh my goodness. Uh, it was and it just installed at the first of this year so I spent a lot of last year creating the piece and building it. So. Creating and building a piece, and uh, it, just how incredible that that helps you get through oh, that it time. A, it, it really did. It pulled me through the whole year. So. Oh, thank goodness, because now we have got all of this beautiful art that anybody who comes to this final day of the Ann Arbor Art Fair can not only see and enjoy here, but you could take home with you and enjoy every day. And uh, what an incredible relationship. I, the art fair is 10 a.m. until 7 p.m. today. Today is the final day. Uh, as part of the reintroduction since the, the break that they had to take from the pandemic. It's a three-day event, so today is the final day. So come on down to downtown Ann Arbor. I, and Jen, this is an artist that if you buy a piece from him, he will remember your face and your name. He's got an uncanny <laughs> memory like that. Back to you.